In this video, we're going to work out this integral. So first, we have to integrate with respect to x. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to, so you keep the outer integral, so you write it again like this, 0, 2, and then you perform the integration on this with respect to x. So when you integrate x, you get x squared over 2, because there's a 1 here, so you use the power rule. So you have x squared over 2. When you integrate the y, you have to put an x next to it, because you're treating the y as a constant. So you just get xy, so plus xy. And we're going, these are x values, right? We're going from 0 to this. Notice how I use the double bracket. I feel, for me, that's better. It adds more clarity. So I like to use the double bracket. So x equals 0. Notice I put the x here. Again, this is just something I do. And then x equals, not everyone does this. Um, a lot of people will just put 0 and this here. Um, you could do whatever you want. Uh, I think this makes it easier to not mess up. Because now when you go plug stuff in, you know you have to replace the x. Like if I didn't put the x there, it's really, really easy to mess up. So let's just check that. So first we integrate with, with respect to x. So we get x squared over 2, x squared over 2. Then we have the y, so we just put an x there, so x, y. And we integrate it with respect to x. So these are x limits of integration. So x equals 0 to x equals that. And then notice we still have the dy. Okay, it's very notationally intensive. It's not hard, but you just have to be really careful. That's how calculus 3 is. So 0 to 2. So first you plug this in and you plug it in here. The nice thing is that this is squared. So when you plug this in, the square root is going to go away. Hurrah! So this is going to be 4 minus y squared over 2. I did not know that would happen. I haven't, I haven't done this video, this problem at all. Um, so then plus x. And then plugging this in again, we get uh, square root. Oh, oh, x. x is this. I almost messed up. x is, whoo! That's our x. And then we have the y. And then minus, and you plug in zeros, and that's going to go away, so I won't bother to write it. Okay. So again, we plug in x here, so the square root went away. And then I messed up, but I fixed it. You plug in x here, and so we're good. Then you subtract, and you plug in zeros, but that's all zeros, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now we do have to integrate this. So let's break this up a little bit. So let's do it as follows. This is going to require a u substitution. So we're going to have to break this up. So this is going to be 4 over 2, which is 2, minus y squared over 2. I'm going to write it like this, 1 half y squared. And then I'll go ahead and put a dy here. And this is going to go from 0 to 2. Plus. If you're wondering why I'm breaking it up, it's because this requires a u substitution, and this does not. So you really have to break it up in order to do it correctly. So 0 to 2. And then this piece. I'm going to put the y in the front. It's really bothering me, like this. Okay. Yeah, all of a sudden, things got real. This problem's a lot harder now. So this is a pretty easy integral. It's just kind of nasty because we have some fractions. And this is going to require a u substitution. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I guess I'll do each one individually. I'm going to go ahead and erase the original question so we have more room. And let's just work out maybe this one first. Okay. So first, let's do this one. So 0 to 2. And let's see what we get. So we have 0 to 2. 2 minus... 1 half y squared dy. Okay, just using regular integration, that's going to be 2y. And then here you add 1 and divide. So you get y cubed over 3, but 3 times 2 is 6. So you get 1 sixth y cubed, and we're going from 0 to 2. Uh, first you plug in the 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. Minus, so 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 1 sixth. 8. 2 cubed is 8. And then minus 0, but you don't have to write it because they're all 0. So this is going to be 4 minus 4 thirds, right? 8 sixths is 4 thirds. Think of 4 as a number over 3. So this is going to be equal to 12 thirds minus 4 thirds because 12 thirds is equal to 4. So 12 thirds minus 4 thirds is 8 thirds. So this is 8 thirds. That's not the answer, but I'm going to put that in a box. This is great. This is fantastic. That's what this is. Now we have to work out this bad boy. So I'm going to write it up here, and we will go through it uh, carefully. So we have the definite integral from 0 to 2. 
And you could have done it all at once. I just ran out of room, so I decided, hey, let's be different. Let's just work out each one individually on different lines. All right. So here we got to make a U sub, and let's go ahead and do it very, very carefully. We'll even change the limits of integration. So we have to make a U sub, so we'll call that U. So U is equal to 4 minus Y squared. And then we compute our du. So du, well, the derivative of 4 is 0. Um, this derivative is going to be negative 2y using the power rule, dy. And as I'm sure you know, whenever you're making a u substitution, um, you have to make this look like this. So we have to get rid of the negative 2. So we'll divide both sides by negative 2 to make it similar. So this is going to be negative 1 half du. And the reason I'm writing negative 1 half is because we're going to pull out that negative 1 half at some point. And this is y dy. Also, since we made a u sub, and since it's a definite integral, technically, we're supposed to change the limits of integration. Let's do it. So we'll do each one individually. So when x is equal to 0, we have u. So you plug in, you plug in, um, sorry, when y is equal to 0, right, it's y, not x. <laughs> Old habits die hard. We have a y, we have y's here. So this is u equals 4 minus 0 squared. So it's 4. So we're going from 4. And then when y equals 2, we have u equals 4 minus 2 squared. So 0. So we have a 0 here. So when y equals 0, we get 4. When y equals 2, when y equals 2, we get 4 minus 4, so we get 0. This y dy is a negative 1 half. We're left with the square root of u, which I'll write as u to the 1 half, and then a du. Skipping some steps here, um, so the square root becomes a 1 half. You know, if you don't like this 1 half, this negative 1 half, there's a trick. And you know what? Let's just use it. Let's not even just talk about it. Let's just do it. You can switch the limits of integration, and that forces a negative sign to come out here. So it basically changes the sign. Watch this. You can do this all day long. Uh, pro. So you can switch the limits of integration, and then that forces a negative sign there. It's a, it's a thing you can do in, in definite integrals. Now we can integrate. So this is 1 half. You add 1, so you get 1 half plus 1, so that's 3 halves. So you get u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves. That's really the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. And we're going from 0 to 4. So when you divide by 3 halves, you really multiply by 2 thirds. These cancel. So you get 1 third. Plug in your 4. Subtract. Plug in your 0. 1 third. 4 to the 3 halves. How do you do that? Well, 4 to the 3 halves what you can do is you just, the way I do it is you put the 2 in the little pocket, the 4 goes here, you put the 3 on the outside. Always, the 2 goes in the pocket, the 4 goes there, put the 3 on the outside. This is 2 cubed, so this is 8. So this is 8. This is 8 thirds. Oh, that's cool. They both are exactly the same thing. So the final answer is 8 thirds plus 8 thirds. You add them up, so you get 16 thirds. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.